I'm filming this, I just did heatless curls. They turned out pretty well, and these are the Kitsch um, satin flexi rods. I enjoyed them, but they weren't the most fun to sleep in. I had kind of a hard time sleeping, but I do love the effect, and it took me 10 minutes to just like take them out and style my hair, so I will use these again. I just gotta figure out a more comfortable way to sleep with them. But anyways, I wanted to show you guys the cutest PJs ever. Two piece, and this is called the My Sleep Set from Free People. And then this robe is also Free People. This one was more pricey, almost $200, but it's the Pretty in Pink robe. This is what I treated myself for <laughs> Valentine's Day. I just wanted some really cute sleepwear. Love the sheer hearts. It's so girly. Oh. Okay, I'll show you the underneath. This one kind of looks like maternity-esque because it's super puffy around the stomach. Little frills. Flowers from my dad. They smell so good. He always sends me them on Valentine's Day. I just got a dragon drink from Starbucks. love this one and I thought I would do a FabFitFun unboxing so I remember I did a sponsorship years ago on my main channel for FabFitFun and I felt like it didn't really suit it because I do so many just like tutorials over there but I do love the concept of it so they sent me over this box it did give me a code Jackie20 if you do want to check out this box and get some money off but I love the seasonal aspect of it because I feel like a monthly box is too much maybe that's just coming from someone who gets PR all the time and I have too much makeup anyway but I really like that this one has home goods and more like body care plus you get to pick what you receive in your box if you customize it so here we have the spring box Mary Antoinette little cakes on here Taylor did already open this for me so I don't have like annoying packaging to um, undo but here is the first item and this is what I was probably most excited about. These are placemats and I actually don't have any. I really like the shades of this and this is by Katie Kime. So what I think is really cool about FabFitFun is as you're browsing through the brands they've selected you kind of come across new brands to try. So I'm going to check out more from this brand because I really like um, yeah, blues for my kitchen. I kind of have a beach theme going on. Next up, I got a Cairo ice roller for depuffing, sculpting, and detoxing. And this is by Skin Inc., who I've worked with before. I went to New York Fashion Week with Skin Inc. before the pandemic, which feels like a fever dream, but this is so cute and little. So you put it in the freezer and then you can depuff with it. Oh, it feels good even though it's not even frozen yet. I'll have to research how to use this. Oh cool, it turns pink when it gets cold. This is super cool. I did want a deep puffer, so. Exciting, and I feel like this is kind of expensive. Like this box is under um, $50 if you use my code, and I feel like that's one or two items altogether, but you get a whole bunch more. <laughs> Next we have the Earth Harbor Reach, re, regenerative neck cream. Wow. Guys, if I start to like lose energy, there's so much pollen in the air right now in Florida. I am suffering and I keep forgetting to take my allergy medication. So here is the neck cream. It's this gorgeous light blue shade and I don't have a neck cream. I wanted to get one from Necessaire, which I do have a Necessaire product in here, but I'll give this one a go. And I get like a line right here. I feel like when I age, I'm gonna have like a big line down my neck, so I'm gonna start using this. I've never seen this brand, A-H-A-V-A, Ahava, I'm dumb. Okay, Dead Sea Water Mineral Shower Gel Sea Kissed. Ooh, I like that scent, what is that? Breeze the floral and marine notes to awaken your senses. Oh, Sea Kiss, not Sun Kiss. I was like, is it a bronzing thing? But no, this is just a shower gel and I'm almost out of my Kapari shower gel, so this comes in handy and I love the kind of like beachy theme because it already feels like summer's coming right now in Florida, which I'm super excited about, but I gotta get through spring. My eyes are dry. Look at these glasses. These are from Kate Spade and ever since I was a kid, I always loved big glasses. They're just so fabulous. 
so I'm very pleased with those. Gotta not lose these. Super cute. And finally, we have this Necessaire product. I have worked with Necessaire before. I love their shampoo and conditioner. I had another set and I gave it to my sister because it is all fragrance free. And I thought that was good because I am gonna be an aunt. Guys, I'm so excited. My sister is having a baby, I can finally say that. And um, I don't know the gender yet, but I'm very, very excited to be a cool aunt. Anyways, I gave her some Necessaire because they are fragrance free and don't have any like bad ingredients. And this product is the Body Serum. So it's a gel consistency, hyaluronic acid hydrating treatment. Their products are so sleek and simple. Let's try this on my legs. Feels really nice. I really like this because I get lazy about putting creams on just because it takes a long time to dry and is kind of heavy, but this is super lightweight. Ooh. So that is my FabFitFun unboxing. Let me know if you guys have a subscription. I think it's a really good idea for like a gift for someone. If you don't know what to get somebody as a gift, you can get them like a subscription and then they get a gift that keeps on giving or just get them one box. And then they get like all sorts of really great products. Oh. How are my curls holding up? I'm trying to see how these heatless curls stay the whole day. They're definitely falling out, but the ones near my face are still keeping it together. Next we have a journal. I always get papier journals. Love the packaging it comes in. So pretty and they're customizable so you can see it has my name on there I'll have them linked down below I always get new journals and this is just how I stay organized and I like to get blank journals for some reason I don't like lined. <laughs> what else I got so many freaking packages today this is from Poshmark oh I know what these are <laughs> I thrifted Taylor Swift Keds I wanted these so bad and I feel like they weren't available in Canada when I was living um, in a place called Newmarket. I looked on Poshmark, couldn't find them, they didn't ship to Canada and I finally got the shoes I always wanted and I wanted <laughs> this because the Eras Tour is coming up and I thought it would be fun to have 1990, wait that's my birthday, 1989 shoes. Oh my gosh I love them. Did anyone else grow up watching Hello Katy on YouTube? Because I remember she was in a commercial for Taylor Swift Cats and I was like, oh. So yay, I finally got my hands on these. I am very, very excited about that. What else can I show you? I think that's everything. Yeah, I got my new PJs, super cute journal, little fab fit, fun, <laughs> and some kids. I hope you enjoyed and I'm trying to think of what else I'm gonna do today. I'm putting off cleaning everything. I really need to clean. Uh, I have some emails to do and then I feel like unless I pass out because of the pollen, maybe I'll bake a cake because I got Dolly Parton cake mix and I kind of want to try it. Are you confused by light? Baby! Meow, meow, meow. take a nap yesterday and that is why I'm back in a different outfit. This is my cardigan that I got from Zara in Korea and I'm gonna be making the Dolly Parton coconut cake. As soon as I saw this on Instagram, I went ahead and ordered it on Amazon because they do sell out fast and at Publix I couldn't find it so I'm glad that I ordered it. And this is the Southern Style Coconut Flavored Cake Mix and there's two different ways to do it. So the easy prep recipe and then there is the favorite coconut cake. So that is what I'm gonna do. And you cover it in coconut flakes. I love how pink and fun it is. Creamy buttercream. Also, since it was just Valentine's Day, I wanted to try a new Starbucks drink that I saw on 17magazine.com. It like was promoted on Facebook and this doesn't look very aesthetically pleasing anymore, but it was the pink drink and then a cold cream chocolate foam on top. 
It's good, but not my favorite. And I saw somebody comment on the post. Try ice mocha with strawberry puree and sweet cream foam. And that tastes like a chocolate covered strawberry. So that is what I got. And the puree is mixed in. It's really good. Here's the order to try. Let's bake a cake. Preheat oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I hope these are eight inch, hopefully. And baking spray, I have this butter flavored cooking spray I just picked up from Publix. I've never baked a cake before. I'm sure I have like with friends. I wonder if that's how I do that. But never all by myself. One cup of milk. Oh, melt butter. I remember last time I was like, well, how am I gonna know how much will melt? But it's on the packaging, so I'm learning. <laughs> I'm learning. One stick is a half cup. It's really gross. <laughs> okay. Not my butter. People think they like put all the ingredients out first, but I just have never done that. Four eggs. Two. Three. Ooh, ew, I just got egg on my phone. Nah. Oh my gosh, there's yolk on my screen. It's making it so aesthetic. <laughs> oh my God. Very dreamy. I swear I have to freaking read the instructions like 10 times before I actually intake the information. Low speed. 30 seconds. I can do that. My mom just gave me this when she was visiting. Beat on medium speed for two minutes. The texture of it. Looks good. Pour batter into pans and bake 24 to 28 minutes. And like one on the bottom or does it matter? One on top, one on bottom or? Uh, side by side. Side by side? Yeah. I'm scared of the oven. <laughs> It does. More waiting. It's been 15 minutes. I'm gonna see if it just will slide out. And it's split out. Turn it over. Oh, maybe I should let it cool. Hold it right side up. Wait. I'm brilliant. <laughs> okay. There's one, I'm gonna let it cool before I ice it. And I do have coconut flakes, so we're gonna cover it. I think it'll look kind of profesh. Oh my gosh. That formula, oh my gosh, it's like moussey. And that color, oh. This is the cutest freaking brand. This is part of their circus collection. I was just showing you guys the strawberry Rococo. Wow, I love this, ooh. This shade's really pretty too. It reminds me of like Sailor Moon. Isn't this just the girliest vlog today? It's so fun, let's get back to baking, this is the creamy buttercream frosting as I mentioned before. I've already been eating some and let's apply to the cake. Looks like there's a lot of cream in the middle. I'm gonna pack it on. Okay. 
look at this. It smells good. This is the cake so far, and I did get coconut flakes. Mmm, that is good icing. Does this not look professional? I am so proud right now. Oh, my mom would love this. She loves coconut. Time for a taste test. Oh my God. That is amazing. Definitely moist. Love the flavor. If I have to bake again, doing this. Mm. Well, that was fun. Let me know what you wanna see next on this channel. I always have so much fun vlogging. I know I don't always like post every week or anything. It's kind of what I do for fun. So if I have like sponsored content that's due, that kind of takes up more time. But I love just baking, sharing girly things with you, so. Thumbs up for more, and if you missed my last vlog, definitely check out my adoption process with my new kitten. It wasn't even adoption, it was handed to us. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys will enjoy meeting Lewis in my last video, and I'll see you in my next one.